District of Columbia. Next in the top 10 is District of Columbia. I'm a scientist at the United States Nuclear Regulatory Commission, and that's exactly what we do. We regulate nuclear power plants. And I have a personal community outreach program called Science Exploration for Kids, so we can encourage them in the math and science. Now take your, your Q-tip with the soap side, put it into the cup. Now take it in the middle of your plate, right in the middle of the colors. <laughs> Seeing children having so much fun in science really gets my heart going. So if I were to win the title of Miss USA, my plan is to inspire and encourage so many children and women in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics field. Now everyone knows who their favorite athlete is, their favorite musician, and so forth. Who's your favorite scientist? Annie Turnbull Malone. So many of you may know who Madam C.J. Walker is, but Annie was actually Madam C.J. Walker's mentor. Not only was she a chemist, she was an entrepreneur, as well as a philanthropist. So she made sure that she used her wealth from building her billion dollar empire for women's hair care products back in the 60s to empower so many women worldwide to pursue education. So I look at that as an admiral quality, especially as a woman who studied nuclear chemistry, and I look at that as a leader, such as Miss USA. If, if you would have been my science teacher, I would have paid more attention in class. Thank you so much, <laughs> District of Columbia. District of Columbia. District of Columbia was born in Naples, Italy, and is hoping to become the seventh foreign-born Miss USA. Where you wanna go, how much you wanna... District of Columbia. Runway coach Lou says District of Columbia is one of the most intelligent contestants in recent memory. Tonight, she's wearing a custom-made white gown. District of Columbia! I live by one of the phrases that growth and comfort do not coexist. Many opportunities that arise, you have to realize you need to step out of your comfort zone. District of Columbia. District of Columbia, you're up. Do you think affordable health care for all U.S. citizens is a right or a privilege, and why? I'm definitely going to say it's a privilege. As a government employee, I am granted um, health care. And I see firsthand that for one, to have health care, you need to have jobs. So therefore, we need to continue to cultivate this environment that we're given the opportunity to have health care as well as jobs to all the American citizens worldwide. Thank you, District of Columbia. The first contestant to earn a spot in the final three is... District of Columbia. <laughs> District of Columbia, please join us. What do you consider feminism to be? And do you consider yourself a feminist? Absolutely, you, you get a microphone. Here we go. So as a woman scientist in the government, I've liked to l lately transpose the word feminism to equalism. I don't really want to consider myself, try not to consider myself like this, like die hard, you know, like, oh, I don't really care about men. But one thing I'm going to say is though, women, we are just as equal as men when it comes to opportunity in the workplace. And I say firsthand, I have witnessed the impact that women have in leadership in the medical sciences as well as just in the office environment. So as Miss USA, I would hope to promote that type of leadership responsibility globally to so many women worldwide. Thank you, District of Columbia. We came in the party. Yeah, right. We came in the dance. Yes, you know that you're my girl. Woo. Damn right of me, man. This 
snack on too good. Don't fall for the games. But he said, she said, dumb shit. I got a whole lot of names and a whole lot of numbers. But I throw them away because I think I might love you. Miss USA 2017 is... District of Columbia! And there you have it. We have a new Miss USA. Thank you all. Good night.